Kim Caroline here. I hope you're all doing well today. So I thought that I would take you along and do a little DIY trying my new heat press that I got for Christmas. So I had asked for one for Christmas and uh, this one in particular because the others are very heavy and they have this big handle, spring-loaded handle that you need to pull down for to apply the pressure and I knew I wouldn't be able to use one of those. This one is all electronic. So the brand is uh, HTV Ront and it did come from the States. Now Sean did order one online and uh, the order and everything went through and then he got an email just about two weeks before Christmas to say that it was damaged and they were refunding him his money, which kind of sounded weird to me. So anyway, he, uh, was able to say he just said fine and he went somewhere else and he was able to order one online and it did come in last Wednesday so so close to Christmas so it came in he got it all wrapped up for me and uh, I opened it Christmas Day so I'm excited to try it out so what I'm gonna do is uh, I have this Christmas stocking and it is felt so I'm just gonna make my name and we're going to cut it out on the Cricut machine and we're going to heat press it on. So I'm going to turn you guys around to see how I do this with my computer and my Cricut and then we'll get to the heat press. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So I am on my uh, Cricut Design Space page. I've already put my name in right there. And I made it 4.5 inch wide by 2 inches high. I think that's going to be a good fit. Um, we're going to go over, if you can see in my right hand corner there, it says make it. This little green up there. So we're going to hit make it. So we click here that we're going to make it on a mat. And we're going to confirm. And we have to, so just watch how my name, I'm going to hit mirror on the right here. And it flipped it backwards because when we're working with iron-on or even the infusible ink, we need to mirror our image that's going on to our fabric. So we've got all that. So we're going to hit continue down in the, uh, right down here. I don't know if you can see my finger, but right there. And it's connecting to a machine up at the top here. It's looking for my Cricut machine via Bluetooth. And it's found it. So we are going to choose Everyday Iron-On because that's what we're using. And uh, the pressure, we're just going to use the default. Now, if you come over here and look at my uh, Cricut machine, I have this flashing so what I want to do is hit that, but also push that in at the same time. So this is my vinyl. So it recognizes uh, what I want to do now. So we come along and when this little uh, cricket, the C is flashing, we hit that. So that is going to take it in, start printing or cutting it out. And then this is the screen you will get on your computer um, telling you that it's cutting it out. So a little hack that I also use on my Cricut machine is I put this uh, paper towel roller underneath so that you can see that it keeps my uh, mat nice and straight. And then you come look at the computer there. It says that it was 100% cut. So it has stopped. It feeds it out. I need to hit this little button again for my whole mat to come out. And uh, my name has been printed there. So let's uh, put you guys down now onto my workspace here. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I did tape it down because sometimes it, uh, there we go. Sometimes it shifts while it's in the machine. So normally when you are peeling vinyl off, you wanna flip it over and you wanna pull, pull it off this way, off your mat because it will not curl. 
All right, so we're going to take the tape off. Now I didn't need such a long piece. So what I want to do is kind of look and I can see my name. So what I want to do is uh, take my scissors here, cut this down. We're going to try to cut this right there and that's all we need. That way I can throw this piece in my scrap pile for another project. Now we are going to weed. I'm going to leave that tape right there and it will uh, catch what I weed off of this. So I do have my Cricut uh, pick and I also have this one. It's also a Cricut one. I tend to prefer the straighter ones to use. So that's what we're going to use. Now we are going to look for the start of this. I kind of chewed it up right there. So hopefully this will help us be able to start that peel. I'll just rip that off. All right, so we are going to try and get a good hold of this. So you're gonna hold that down while you pull, and I tend to use tweezers too, but here we go. So before I pull it though, I want to use my little tool just to make sure I don't pull up the whole image. Oh, I just put the little cap. I'm a hot mess, I tell you people. A hot mess crafter. All right, so we are just going to pull this off. See if I can do this without knocking you over. And see how nice and easy that comes off. So I'm just going to throw that big piece in the garbage behind me. So that's what she looks like. So now we got to go in and we got to take out the centers there. And this is where these little weeding tools come in handy. Um, so I'm going to turn it around this way. I usually have a light too that I can shine on this, but these are big enough that we should be able to see them. So you see how easy that came off? So you want to pick that up. Stick it on that piece of tape. Let me just get that little end off. All right. And then we're going to do the O. So it's uh, right there. And the E. Just trying to see it, how big it is. It's not very big at all, so it's right about there. You want to make sure you get it on the right spot or you will wreck the vinyl. So there we go. My name, Caroline. So now what we're going to do is uh, take that garbage away. We're going to take the stocking that I'm going to. So it is felt. So that's my stocking. And we're going to put my name on the top of it. So I am going to put it on to the um, felt part and that fits perfect. So I'm just gonna tuck that under for now. All right, so there we go. So let's go over now to the heat press. Okay, so now we're at the heat press. So we're going to power it on. I want my temperature to be 300. So that looks like the little temperature gauge. And I want to bump that up to 300. Oops. So we set it at 300 and I only need it 15 seconds. So we're going to hit the time there and we're going to go down to 15 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out. Look at how easy this is to use. Now it came, okay, let's, uh, I'm just gonna sit you guys here for a minute while that heats up. Uh, we're gonna put my stocking. It also came with this like a pad on it. So we're gonna put my stocking in here. Don't mind my mess on the bottom. All right, so we got my stocking in and uh, it did come with a huge big Teflon, but we don't need that size. So we're gonna use the, my smaller one that I have. We're just going to wait for that to come to temperature. 
So while that's heating up, I just wanted to show you, it came with a 12 by, uh, sorry, a 20 by 16 Teflon sheet, and we don't need one that size. So we are going with my little, uh, I think it's a 12 by 12. Anyway, we are waiting for that to come to temperature still. When that, when that reaches 300, I'll bring his back. Okay, I'll put you back on because we are almost at temperature. It's at 298. It just reached 300. It beeped. Uh, the R here was red, but now it's green. So I have, there's a little handle under here. So I have to push this in. It's a little thick there. And oh, is it ever hot in there? I'm going to push the whole thing in till it stays. I hit that button. It adds the pressure for me counts down rather than me holding the iron or the arm style and uh <coughs> excuse me it's finished my 15 seconds are over it raised for me i pull it out my teflon kind of stayed in there so i'm gonna put that on my chair that's there beside us and uh it's hot I'm just going to reach over, sorry, reaching over for my tweezers so I could pull this off without burning myself. We will check and look at that. 15 seconds is all it needed. Oh, maybe the eye's not staying. All right. It's not sticking because of the thickness. The E and the N are, but the I isn't. So what we're going to do is... Go in for another 15 seconds. Okay, so we gotta push it in manually. Yeah, that's gonna work better. We won't have that bulk. And we're gonna hit our R again. Wait for another, ooh, 15 seconds. Not sure what that crunch noise was. We pull it out. That's looking good now. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, that eye doesn't want to stay. We'll go from this end. It's probably because I was working with uh, the felt as well. Oh, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. There we go. There you have it. My name is applied. Just gonna fold that back down so you can see what I've done here. And there you have it. Hope you can see that. So yeah, let the Caroline crafting begin. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.